Do you want to get an animated wallpaper without paying for wallpaper engine? So in this video, I am going to show you just how to do that. It is completely free and it's very easy to do. So uh, yeah, before we start the video, however, I just want to say that this is a redo of a video I made over a year ago in which personally I was disappointed with the results. But yeah, since a lot of changes has been made to the program itself, I am going to be doing an updated version of the tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be using the same program I did in my old video, which is Lively Wallpaper. So Lively is an open source program that can be used as an alternative to Wallpaper Engine. And from my experience, it also runs lighter than wallpaper engine but before we start i'd recommend watching the entire video before doing anything because some things you should know before starting to do it and then re-watching the video if you forget anything while you're doing it so right now i have completely blank wallpaper i don't have the application installed so to start off go ahead and open your browser and go to this website the url is going to be linked in the description below so the first thing to note is that this website has an animated sort of effect on the front page which will eat up a lot of your cpu so keep that in mind as you can see right now i have 100 percent cpu usage because of this so once you're on the website i would recommend just scrolling down instantly to reduce the cpu usage caused by the welcome screen so as you can see right now my cpu usage is not that high compared to before so just scroll down straight to the download section and in here we can can see two methods of downloading the program through a manual installer and through the microsoft store personally i find it much easier to download from the microsoft store plus if you are less tech savvy then you will also find it more comforting to download from the trusted source like microsoft rather than from github so in this video i am going to be using the microsoft store before we start with the installation, however, as you can see underneath, we have the system requirements for the program. So I would recommend to see if your device specification is enough for this program to run. So to check your system spec very easily, just hold down escape, shift, and control at the same time to open up your task manager. When you first open it, it's going to look like this. So go ahead and press more details and then go to performance. And in here, you will be able to see your CPU, uh, memory, and GPU. And now you can check to see if your system meets the requirements. Once you have confirmed that you have better specs than the requirement, now it's time to install the program. So simply just click the Microsoft button and then click the get button and just go ahead and press open Microsoft store. This will redirect you to the Microsoft store. And then now all you have to do is press install and go through the installation process. For some, it might need you to download something else like the DirectX or Netcore. And if it asks you to do that, just download them. They won't do any harm and you're going to need that to run the program. If it asks you to restart your device after it downloads, also just go ahead and do that. So this is what the application looked like and as you can see it already has some pre-installed wallpapers for you to use but now i'm gonna be showing you guys how to put in your own custom wallpapers so the most two common way i use to find wallpaper are through youtube and steam community so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it from both of them so first of all let's just start with youtube first so once you're in youtube let's search up animated wallpapers oh hey that's my video and find one that you like so like this i found one video that i like so just make sure that the quality is 1080p at least so it doesn't blur out too much when you look at it through your monitor uh, to check you can just full screen and this is what it's going to be looking like in your desktop so to download them just basically copy the youtube link and then just go ahead and look up en.safefrom.net this is a website for you to download the video so just paste your youtube video link there press download and then go scroll down to here download without installation press that and now just go ahead and change the quality to 1080p and just press download and now we're going to go through the steam community so if you go down to the description there's going to be a url for the wallpaper engine uh, workshop now one thing to note about this workshop is that it contains some uh, content that i would prefer to not show because it's not youtube friendly so it's probably gonna be blurry for you guys but uh yeah once you're here just go ahead and change the type over here to video and find one that you like once you have found one that you want to use, like before, go ahead and copy the link to that website and go to this URL. It's going to be linked in the description as well. Go ahead and paste the Steam URL here and press the download button. Wait for a while and it should download as a zip file which you can then extract using the Windows Extractor or WinRAR if you have it. So to import the wallpaper, just go into the application, press this plus button on the left, press import and find the video file. Now over here you can change the title, the description, the author, and the website for what it's going to show in the application itself, not the actual file. So you can just put this to wherever you want basically and press OK. Wait for a while and it should import the video and you'll be able to play it as a wallpaper in your background. 
now don't leave the video yet because now i am going to explain the settings in this application so if you leave right now and there's some settings you don't know about i am not going to answer them in the comments because it's already in the video so since this app is basically running a video in the background, it is obviously going to use some memory and GPU. So since it is constantly running a video, I wouldn't recommend this to laptop users because personally, I don't have a laptop, but I would imagine it will take a toll on your battery. So unless you have your laptop constantly plugged in, I would not recommend using it on a laptop. For the GPU usage, however, you can set it so that it doesn't take performance when you're playing games in the settings. To sort of press the settings icon on the bottom left and on general, just make sure that start with Windows is on because if you don't have it on every time you shut down your pc and you turn it back on your wallpaper is not going to be there next on the general you have the language so if you want to use another language then you can set it here and then underneath you also have themes dark theme is on just by default and if you want to get flashbang there's also light theme so next over we have the performance tab where we can see all the pauses this is where you can set it so that it doesn't take performance when you're playing games or whatever so over here as you can see there is applications full screen and applications focused so basically if you set the application full screen to pause when you have an application on full screen it will pause the wallpaper and for application focus when you are focusing on another tab for example like this i am focusing on my script it will pause the wallpaper so next is for your laptop users this option will make it so that when you're not plugged in it will pause the wallpaper next we have the wallpaper tab now most of these are not very important so i would just recommend keeping them all on default but you can fiddle around with them to see what they would change so this is an example of a wallpaper that has audio this will make it lower or higher and you can also set it so that if you're focused on something else like a notepad it will not play any audio but only when it apps full screen so next you have the system tab where you can change what your taskbar will look like you can just change the options and see which one you like the most normally i would use blur or wallpaper but it's personal preference really and there's also a screensaver if you want to use those personally i don't use those and for miscellaneous just don't touch this just keep it on default you don't you're not gonna need this and next is if you have multiple monitors you can press this monitor icon on the top right and you can choose which monitor you want to put which uh wallpaper on you can choose to have two different wallpapers or you can you know have one long wallpaper and just stretch it across and once you're ready with everything you can just simply close the app and it will stay running in the background so your wallpaper will stay up and if you want to take the ui back as you can see it's not on your taskbar so what you want to do is simply press Press this little arrow button and then just right click this lively wallpaper and press open lively other options are you can pause the wallpaper through here as well you can also just close the wallpaper by closing wallpaper it means that it's just gonna make it into the desktop default wallpaper so if you did this to set it back just go back to lively and there you go and if you want to close lively completely just go ahead and press exit but if you do press exit, it is going to close the background with it. So don't do that, just close the tab. And completely for aesthetics, if you want to, you can hide your taskbar by right clicking your taskbar, going to taskbar settings and turning on automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. And that's it. I hope I covered everything. If I don't, however, feel free to ask any question in the comments below. I will not be answering questions I have already answered in the video, however, so make sure you watch the video. Like if the video helped you out, and I'll see you later. Bye!